Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get our materials. So we have some white paper, something to color with, and we're going to use colored pencils today. Something to draw with, pencils, scissors, a black marker for outlining, and glue for gluing. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you how to draw in this project is the um, jungle cat. So we'll start with, in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to draw a medium sized circle. I like to work with pencil so we can erase any mistakes we have. Okay. And then the next step is to draw a larger circle outside of that. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to draw is the face of my cat. So I'm going to draw a little hill, a dip, and then another little hill. Okay, he needs some eyes. So an upside down hill and another upside down hill. And then in the middle. Okay. And then his nose. Whiskers. worry about it being perfect. So the next thing I'm going to draw is his body. So I'm going to start with a large curved line. Okay. And then his legs. First his back legs. And then his front legs. C and then I'm going to draw another C right outside of that. And you can draw any kind of tail that you like. I like to draw a spiky tail. Okay. Now the last thing that he needs is some ears. Okay. So now this is a pretty boring jungle cat, so we want to jazz him up a little bit. So I'm going to create a design or some patterns in his body to, to make him a little bit more interesting. So maybe I'll do this. Do some designs on his leg. Okay, and I'm going to design all around my jungle cat. Okay, so now that we've completed jazzing up our jungle cat, we're going to go over these lines that we've created in our patterns within the cat with our black marker. So that when we color him in, those lines that we've drawn really stand out. Okay, so we finished outlining our jazzy cat with our black marker, so now we're going to go back and we're going to color him in with our colored pencils. Okay. 